Good morning everyone. Now we know what are combination and decomposition reactions. So let us understand other types of chemical reactions. What happens when we burn coal? Lots of heat is produced, right? So carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus lots of heat. C plus O2 gives CO2 plus heat. This kind of reaction in which heat is released along with the formation of products is known as exothermic reaction. So combustion of any flammable substance is an exothermic reaction as it produces heat. But sometimes exothermic reaction can be explosive too. So we should be very careful. The burning of natural gas which mainly consists of methane gas is an exothermic reaction as it produces a lot of heat. The chemical equation for it can be represented as CH4 plus 2O2 gives CO2 plus 2H2O plus heat that is methane plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide and water along with lots of heat. In some reactions, energy is required in form of heat, light or electricity to break down the reactants. This kind of reactions in which energy is absorbed is called endothermic reaction. As it happened in the case of silver bromide, when the light falls on it, its molecule decomposes into silver and bromine. Thus, it is an energy absorbing reaction, hence it is an endothermic reaction. Now you might be confused, is it also a decomposition reaction? Well, this is also an example of decomposition reaction as we saw as here a single reactant is breaking down into simpler molecule. So we can say it is both endothermic as well as decomposition reaction. Now you may wonder what type of chemical reaction is the respiration? Is it exothermic or endothermic reaction? Let us see. Through respiration in our body, oxygen changes into carbon dioxide. Our body cells are burning foods and producing carbon dioxide. What exactly happens during respiration? The simple food that is glucose combines with oxygen in the cells of our body and provides energy. Glucose which is represented by C6H12O6 plus 6O2 gives 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus energy. Here energy is released in this reaction. Hence we say it is an exothermic reaction. So to sum up what we learned today, a chemical reaction in which heat is given out along with the products is called an exothermic reaction. For example, burning of coal produces heat energy and it is represented by this chemical equation. C plus O2 gives CO2 plus heat. And what is endothermic reaction? A chemical reaction in which energy is absorbed is called an endothermic reaction. For example, silver chloride in presence of sunlight decomposes into silver and chlorine. Here, energy in form of sunlight is being absorbed during the reaction and hence it is an endothermic reaction. That's all for now. Bye-bye.